Welcome back, I'm James Bullen, the world's sexiest video editor of all time, and also video editing coach. Today we're going to be talking about the importance of color grading and composition. I'm going to show you some cool tips and tricks for easy, quick, fast color grading, cool glows and filters and overlays and effects. This is not for fancy cinematic color grading, uh, stuff like that. You're going to want to actually uh, go to someone who knows what they're talking about, unlike me, and isn't a lazy, fat piece of shit. And you're probably going to want to use... DaVinci Resolve if you want like really fancy color grading. This is more for like, you know, animation, motion graphics, and gaming videos, stuff like that. Anyways, this is the project for the advertisement for the Freelance uh, Freedom Animated Ad, which is a very intense project, lots of animations. There's gonna be some missing media in here because uh, I don't have that at the moment. This is an old project. Pretty cool timeline, right? Uh, I'm just gonna show you some examples here of what proper color grading and filters and such does. Uh, look at this piece right here, for example, if you go, let's turn that off and on, look at the difference in quality. Take this, flat PNGs, boring, not that impressive, but with this, literally just uh, Lumetri Color, a uh, uh, Gaussian blur with a mask uh, at the edge, so you know, it adds like a cool focal length effect, uh, a VR glow, some chromatic aberration, very small touch, and some lens distortion really will level a single composition up. Let's go here, for example. Here is another one right here. There is uh, some light color grading here along with some camera movement. We can go inside this nested sequence to find it. Here we go. With, without. It really just makes it look a lot more polished and premium. Right here, for example, without, with. Now, uh, th this one here and this filter right here is a Freelance Freedom color grading filter, but I will show you how to make something pretty similar. Let's look at, for example, this right here. Everything sucks, this part. Looked really good. Just a little bit of color grading and boom, it looks so much more polished and premium. So I'm gonna show you how to make some of that stuff today. Let's also look at the current lander video on freelancefreedom.com, which I have a lot of color grading here. Let's turn all this off. Look at all of this without the color grading. I mean, it's decent editing with camera movement and everything, but flat, boring. Uh, and look, this, this was a drastic example of some really good color grading. If you look at this here, and then we turn the color grading on and the filters, boom, look at that. Look at how much more sinister that looks with the glow and everything. You know, right here, this is after, this is before, just makes a massive difference. And all this is compiled of is Lumetri Color, you know, boosting that contrast, uh, adding a vignette, you know, Gaussian Blur for the edges, a VR Glow, and Chromatic Aberrations, as well as Lens Distortion. I'm gonna show you how to make this. And you can save this as a preset when you're done so you can drag and drop it. Now, I've put together uh, two different scenes here. And uh, first we'll just demonstrate with my presets if I type in filter. The Freelance Freedom Pack has a bunch of really cool filters. Uh, this one, there is a uh, blue glow filter which adds a nice subtle glow along with a blue tint. We got the red glow, which is one I like a lot. It adds that uh, chromatic aberration and a bit of a red glow. We have this green glow, a cool matrix filter. It'll add, my, one of my favorites is gold glow, which is uh, this here. You know, cinematic RGB filter, a commercial filter with a glow, you know, just some really cool filters, as well as these ones here, which uses like a, a Lumetri color, a sharpen, sharpen effect combined with a VR glow, which just looks really interesting. So let's stop talking and make it. Uh, I kind of, on second thought, I don't want this. So we have some random images I've taken from my assets and backgrounds, and we're gonna combine them. We're gonna use the Lumetri color panel and make some cool stuff. So the way I do my color grading, let's just add a cut here. Usually I bump the contrast up, and depending on the, if you're going for something sinister, maybe turn the exposure down just a tad. Uh, you know, you can mess with your warmth accordingly. I'm gonna cool it just a little bit. I'm gonna turn those blacks down to make the blacks darker, the whites up to make the whites whiter. And you can do the same with the shadows and, you know, kind of give it some more contrast. I don't wanna do too much though. So here's before, after. Okay, we have something, but it still is flat. We wanna give it a sense of depth. Next thing we'll do is a vignette. You can see what it's doing at the edge there. There's without, there's with. Now the vignette on its own doesn't look like much, but when the images underneath move, it does add some more separation because that vignette shows up on top of them. And then as they come into the scene, it adds a little more separation if you're moving stuff around and doing animations. Then, you know, we might go into curves and fuck with these. I don't honestly, to this day, don't really know how the curves work. I just mess with stuff until it looks kind of cool. That is my entire job in a nutshell. I want to go for more of a red feel. So let's bump these reds up and this one mess with that. What happens if we bring the blue down? Let's experiment with that. Makes it a bit more yellow. So yeah, let's drop that just a little bit. Let's go up here. 
turn this a little more warm. Okay, that's kind of cool. Now there's an effect, a default Premiere Pro effect called VR Glow. Go ahead and add that. Boom. What it does uh, is it takes brighter parts of the image and it makes them glow. You can adjust the properties such as the, uh, the brightness here, the radius, which is the spread. I tend to leave the brightness at about one, but what we're gonna adjust is the luma threshold. So as you can see, the brighter part of the images are glowing first. So the lower the threshold, the more shit it's gonna let in. If you turn the threshold up, the less stuff it'll let in. If you hold control while using a slider, uh, it's gonna be a lot more slower so you can get a lot more particular. I like right up to this point. Let's turn that uh, radius up a little bit so it's a little softer. And you can also turn up the glow saturation. We're going to toggle use tint color and let's try red. Let's see how that looks. And not liking it. Let's do more of an orange color. That's better. And let's turn that saturation up. Cool. There is before, there is after. How cool is that? Now, we can continue to mess with this. There's an effect in Premiere Cold called VR Chromatic Aberrations, which is what gives us those really cool RGB split effects, as you can see there. It's a bit wonky, and it does it in a VR spherical thing, so the edges, as you can see along here, uh, are a little distorted, which is why we add that uh, lens distortion to counteract that and to hide it. You also could do this by zooming it up. So let's just do a little bit of VR Chromatic. Let's turn that fall off distance a lot lower, and the point of interest is where everything kind of warps from, we'll leave that in the center. Let's turn that red operation down just a little bit. So, you know, that adds a little something, not a ton. Maybe turn the fall off distance up just a tad. Cool, there's something. And we can put on some lens distortion. Bam, turn that curvature down just a little bit to hide that distortion uh, from the filter, cool. Let's put a sharpen effect on, see what that does if we increase the sharpen. Uh, no, a little too intense, not quite what we're looking for. This is a very intense, filter right here, but this is a before and after. Totally changes the mood and the vibe of what we got going on. And now with that lens distortion, you'll see he distorts at the edge when he gets to the edge of the camera, which is kind of cool. So look at that, very interesting. Now let's see how does it look above this thing, you know, a little too powerful, because this is a much brighter image. How's it look here? Uh, it doesn't look good on this one because um, there's a lot of nice, crisp, sharp lines on this text and in that background. And when it's like that, that's just gross. Let's add a Gaussian blur, see if maybe we can repair that just a little bit. Let's Gaussian blur the background just a tad. Yeah, that is not a very pretty effect uh, for this particular one. So we're gonna leave that over here. We're just gonna leave this here and make a new one for this one. That's gonna be probably a lot more subtle. So we're gonna do a few things. Uh, we're gonna use another effect on SpongeBob called lighting effects in Premiere Pro, which is pretty sick. If you do this, it puts a light on, which you can see, you know, there's a spotlight you can manipulate and change the controls around. It can be a little finicky sometimes, a little too intense. There's multiple lights. Uh, by default, only one is enabled, and I usually put it to an Omni light like this, so nice and easy to control. As you can see in the background image, the light is coming from back there because the sun is setting. Let us move the light accordingly. Let's uh, select, uh, where did it go? There it is. Yeah, move it back here, bring it in a little tighter. Nice. Just change that light color. Use the eyedropper, make it the same color, but saturate it more. Boom. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Let's turn that intensity up just a tad. You can mess with that radius, animate these properties by hand. And boom, just like that, before, after. Now this PNG here looks much more immersed in the scene, and this is just some lighting and color effects we've done on just the character. Now, you can also put lighting effects on top of adjustment layers. So you could have, or nest it and put the lighting effects on the nest and animate the guy underneath and the light will uh, stay and he'll move. So it'll add a lot more realism, which is pretty cool. You know, if we cut the lighting effects and put it on top of the adjustment layer, it affects everything, which is kind of badass. But we're just gonna leave the lighting effects on him. And now let's do some color grading. Let's go into our Lumetri color. Uh, it's already pretty warm, so we're not gonna touch that. Let's just bump the contrast a little and do a little bit. Let's add a nice vignette and maybe a little bit of VR glow and leave it there. Oh, how did this get moved? We want this back here, yes sir. Let's add a tad of VR glow, pop. Turn that threshold down until it starts to, oh, too much. Less, less, less. Boom, bump that saturation. And here's a before and after. Just a very small thing, but it looks nice. So already before, after. Before lighting effect, after lighting effect, and then after adjustment layer, pretty sick. And I can right click all this and save this as a preset and reuse it. All right, let's do the last one. You know, I could just use one of my favorite presets and just pop, 
pop that on there and be good to go. But we're going to make it by hand. I'm going to show you how to do it. If you want this preset and a bunch more and a whole course and all this stuff, go to freelancefreedom.org. Use code SquankHandlerPant for 20% off the program. You get presets, asset, cheat sheet, website list, everything you need to start video editing. I'm not going to go on and on about it. If you're interested, you can check it out. There is a full 14-day money-back guarantee, by the way, if you don't like it. Anyways, I want to make this a cool tone. So let's pop our vignette on here. Make this a little more of a blue tone. Let's up that contrast. Punch in a VR glow. Bam. Make it affect everything. Let's turn this down. Nice. Let's turn that glow saturation up and the glow brightness up just a little bit. Cool. The image is actually a tad too blue now. I don't like how blue it is. Let me de-blueify that. There we go. Just a little bit. Before, after. Look how big of a difference that makes. Now let's uh, put some lighting effects on the background. Let's go lighting effects. Boom. Pop it here. Uh, we can zoom out here and move the light to only affect part of the background. Let's just shrink it like that. And now we can move it. That's kind of cool. A little too intense. Let's go back to the my preferred light, which is the Omni light. Let's select that. Let's uh, shrink this down a little bit. Oh, this is actually pretty cool, but we don't want it that bright because uh, it bleeds in with the text a lot. It's a lot to look at. So if we change the ambient light color to red, maybe boom. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ambient intensity. Yeah, let's mess with these surface glass. Let's mess with these properties till we get something we like. Exposure. Yeah, turn that. Turn that down a bit. Let's turn this to more of a blue. Yeah, really dark blue. Bam. That's pretty badass. And we can change the light color to something different. Maybe what will happen then? Oh, that's kind of sick. Look how the blue and the red mix together with this lighting effect. So we can move the red here and keep the ambient light. Oh, look at that, dude. That's pretty badass looking. Nice. Cool. Now look at that. So before lighting effects on the background, after, and then adjustment layer, boom. That is pretty sick. Just like that, with a few clicks, we have absolutely leveled up all of these scenes here before, after. You know, this one's orange and really intense and bright, um, like he's been cooked alive inside of an oven. Here's before, we did some lighting effects on him, and then adjustment layer. We did, uh, you know, a VR glow, luminary color and everything on this adjustment layer, which looks nice, and then some lighting effects on this, which absolutely leveled it up. There you go, gentlemen. I've given you free value, like, subscribe, blah, 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 go to freelancefreedom.org, check out the bullshit I'm trying to sell you for my own personal gain, and I'll see ya, bye-bye.